I'm stuck. What do I? He needs a playmate. Hi, Mr. Chonky Boy. Guys, welcome back to another video. Say hi. Is a hi again for November day. The fact that there's no S word on the ground. This is beautiful. I just didn't want to jinx it. That's why. Way windy, actually. I'm gonna leave this food here for Mr. Panda. It's just the annual food drive. We had all this non perishable food just sitting in our pantry, so I'm like, why not? Watch out, go. Beautiful day. Before we start this video, I just wanted to test something. Many of you were telling me that you're not getting notifications for my latest, newest releases for any of my videos. If you guys could do me a huge favor, this is just for the people who haven't done this yet, go to my YouTube homepage, and up in the right corner, just click that red box, subscribe. Have to press this bell button right here, which gives you three options, and click all. But I think you actually just have to have it on all to be able to get all of my video updates. 37.8% of you who are not subscribed, but do watch my channel. And I guess I can't force you guys to subscribe if you don't actually vibe with my content. But here is the juice. The subscriber bell notifications right here. Subscribers who turned all notifications for your channel is only 17%. So about 45,000 of you out of a quarter million subs. And then over here it says, subscribers who turned on all notifications for your channel and enabled YouTube notifications, only 8% of you. Lately, I've been doing a lot of YouTube research and really trying to figure out how to use my analytics to my advantage. And <laughs> seeing this is so sad. So if you guys would do me a huge favor, and if you're watching this video right now at this very moment and are subscribed, please press that notification button. That way you guys will be able to see all the videos I release on this channel. Guys, cheers. Do it for the ramen. And so after the casual breakfast, I decided to go to the old garage to clean up a little more. It's almost time to put away the car, so I just want to make sure I have ample working space here at least, and that all my tools are nicely put away and organized, either in the cabinets or on the walls. Alright guys, I've been cleaning for a few hours now. I transferred all of those grid walls to this side, and now this corner is actually somewhat clean. But while I was cleaning up, actually, I found FRS parts that were supposed to be installed years ago. This, guys, is Teen EDFC, so electronic dampening system for uh, Teen Coilovers, and uh, it's all here. So I guess we get to have another FRS day sometime soon. So that'll wait. I am still in the process of organizing shit, but we're almost there, guys. And then once this corner is clean, I'm gonna move the ARC-7 back here, and then we can get started on that. I'll show you guys what we were supposed to work on today. <sighs> Sighs of relief are usually to let go of the stress that's building up inside here. I mean, the outside's beautiful, but the interior is somewhat stressful. <laughs> Uh, there's this rat's nest of a problem that I gotta address. Let me show you guys what I mean. Okay. Oh, mother. So check this out. This is what I'm talking about. I did my best to kind of place everything where it's supposed to go. Most of these pieces can actually just pop into place, but there's some areas that we actually have to make custom brackets for. That's the top dash cover that came with FD when we imported it. Kenji gave us a better looking piece, but then I got my friend Jesse to carbon overlay it, um, make it look a lot prettier now. And I'm gonna show you uh, what I have for the FD actually. We're not missing all that much. All it really is, is finding out where these pieces fit. <laughs> There's some parts that I just like have no clue where it goes. 
So, and sometimes it's hard to find a good interior reference on Google. Most of the photos on forums nowadays are expired and uh, they're broken images. So not even close to being helpful. Let's just play around. Plus up here, we actually have a set of feed fenders courtesy of Kenji. But damn, and these are in freaking good shape. Just needs a little bit of finesse. I'm thinking of refurbishing them and then selling them off because I don't see myself installing them on the FD. Just because I want to keep my side skirts and I kind of try to mock it up. And those side skirts, I'd have to do a lot of custom work to make them fit. And I like the style. If I want to go feed, I might as well just do entire feed kit, but that gets expensive too. So we're just going to clean these up to the best of our ability and I don't know. Guys, I have a set of feed fenders for sale. So luckily we were able to get our hands on most of the trim pieces for this car, but after doing a little more digging, uh, I found that the previous owner just did a lot of custom work to this thing. This is where we just have to use our ingenuity and figure out bracket areas and try our best to get it to OEM spec, you know? But as you can see like this, it's a chore. I'm nothing close to an electrician, but I know like basic wiring. It's just this looks pretty daunting, but hey, this is what we signed up for. So all it is really is just a good wire took and putting back all of the trim pieces in their proper place. I'm gonna go out this way. Yeah. And also really to see if we can make room for an actual passenger to sit in the passenger seat. Cause right now the passenger's leg room is non-existent. I'm looking at the back of this piece of technology and I've come to a realization. Humanity, civilization has come a long way. But we out here, this weird ass generation's hyping up the wrong shit. I don't even know what I'm looking at here, but it's cool. Okay, I'm trying to fit this in and now I know why they didn't end up using this piece at all. I just wanted to see if I could fit the old OEM uh, bracket, I guess, but because they're using aftermarket gauges This doesn't even fit back there, and then I'd have to do a lot of cutting I've already like destroyed an OEM piece like I could have sold this for a lot I was just never gonna use it myself <sighs> Like I could go through the effort of actually just like cutting this and really trying to make it fit But you know what? I'm just gonna see what I have in this garage and if anything I'll just end up buying brackets tomorrow I want to see if I can at least attach this section to the frame of the car so that we can pretty much just go off of that, move on to the center console, get this piece in and this one. Looking at some Google references, I found out that I actually am still missing a lot of interior trim pieces, including the one that goes here. There's a piece that goes here. So these are the gauges it came with. It didn't come with a speedometer, just the air fuel ratio, oil and water temp, as well as your RPMs. Um, but my idea is to use this extra hole right here to put our speedometer back here. There is a lot of like broken pieces right here. It doesn't even really clip in I mean, this still kind of goes into the slot If we can make it work, however, we can make it work. I'll be satisfied with that. But yeah, this garbage Ugh. Does anybody know where the hell this piece goes? I'm trying to figure this out like does it cover that area? That should be on the other side. You know what? I'm about to quit here. <laughs> Just all my other tools are at the garage too. All I have is this toolbox and um, yeah, there's a lot of custom work that I might end up having to do. All right, friends, I did a little more assessing and I think I'm just gonna like really plan this out and then tomorrow we can go pick up everything that we need for this. Uh, and also I don't have all that many tools here, so uh, it's all at the other garage. So I'll remember to bring all those. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this video. Uh, also, I apologize for all of you guys who are waiting on the daily vlogs. I tried. <sighs> It's a task and a half. It's just like going back and forth between both the art channel and the automotive vlog channel, I guess you could say. This channel is a little more geared towards the automotive scene. If you like art, just subscribe there. I'm trying to make it to 100K before the end of the year on that channel. And it really is just like consistency and being of service. I mean, 
people only ever follow you for your character if you've built enough of a reputation. I kind of just like, when I lost my Instagram last year, both Instagrams actually, I don't know who, I think it was actually Viz Media. Like the people who actually have rights for some of the animes in North America, Viz Media, took down a lot of my shit <laughs> and uh, deleted both my Kings Must Rise Instagram as well as my It's Birdie Instagram. That's why I had to start from scratch, practically. I didn't lose the talent. I didn't lose you guys, some of you guys. Um, but it was kind of like an uh, involuntary hiatus from social media and a chance for me to kind of reinvent myself. And now I'm just trying to be more active on both channels. So again, if you could do me a huge favor, that'd be great. Remember guys, Earth without art is just eh. <laughs> I, I heard that somewhere before. It's so lame, but eh. Oh, bro, please, these are expensive. <laughs>